Hi guys, uh, thanks for watching Now TV, um, aka the writer Jennifer Cooley, aka the um, royal princess Lady Jennifer Norfolk, which happens to be true, my real name, um, and uh, aka Superwoman, for those of you following. Um, I'm making this video for everybody here in Ottawa, and everybody in Quebec, and those in the States that uh, receive one of these. If you've gotten one of these, that's probably why you're watching this video. Um, and I wanted to connect the dots with my writing work and the actor Tom Welling, um, as well as my fight with YouTube to keep our rights to continue to monetize our videos and be able to make money. Um, I wanted to show people what I'm supposed to be driving around in. If you guys see me walking and taking the bus everywhere, you feel my feet stomp on the ground. Uh, I do have a driver's license. I do know how to drive, and I drive this. Um, it's the Superwoman van. And it's decked out on all four sides. Um, same thing on both sides. That's the new Lex Luthor symbol down there by the driver's door. This is on, also on the passenger side. And there's like new Superman, Superwoman symbols on the front and the back. Plus my Facebook is also on the front uh, of the van. Now, when I moved here uh, a few years back, to, uh, back to Ontario, my van got uh, vandalized. And uh, nobody was ever charged. And there was never any replacement money given to me. I had to pay to fix it again out of pocket. And I had to take the pain and suffering to go with that. Um, so now the van is stuck at the mechanics place in Toronto. I've been paying parking for every month. Till I can come up with enough money to finish paying it. To bring it here to Ottawa. So people could see me driving around at proper class. Proper standard. Proper life in my van. So people could know that I'm somebody and I'm going somewhere. And then decide to get involved, uh, which I hope you do regardless of my van. Um, the um, point of my uh, making uh, these videos now is because before Christmas started, um, I actually tried sending stuff out in the mail to uh, the TV show Lucifer um, to the actor Tom Ellis, not to the actor Tom Welling, because... I figured Tom Ellis would have a better sense of humor about uh, what I've been going through um, in trying to get Tom um, and John Schneider and Michael Rosenbaum and Kristen Pruitt to read my Smallville movie. Um, figured because he's got no um, investment that it would be harmless to send it to him. Um, this is the Smallville movie. See? Now, my, my goal here is to um, finish writing it. Um, it's, it's pretty big already, but I'd like to get paid to finish it. Uh, but it needs to have a green thumbs up approval, um, uh, by the person that yay or nays the decision. Tom Welling was once interviewed, uh, some time back and he said uh, he wasn't against the idea of there being a Smallville movie. The key to Tom Welling is knowing him, knowing his style. It's about, uh, knowing that I have the confidence to know that I've written something that he will like. He has to like it uh, before you can present it to him. Um, you, you should know that much about him for, first so that you uh, know what you're giving him. And I know once he reads this, he'll want to know how the rest of the story goes. And then uh, when he reads it, then Michael Rosenbaum reads it, <coughs> John Schneider, and Kristen Pruitt, and then everybody's on the ball, and then we move forward from there. This would make me one of the biggest Canadian writers um, of this kind of Hollywood standard movies, um, which is awesome for Canada, great reputation, but it's also about introducing new superhero uh, characters <clears throat> from here, from my brain, <laughs> uh, that started when I was a, a kid in, in junior high school, long before I ever knew about a Tom Welling um, or a, a, a Cheaper by the Dozen movie series or, or a Smallville TV show. Uh, I was uh, on my way many years beforehand. Um, when I saw Supergirl 2, the movie, I <clears throat> was young and I said to myself, because there was a scene in the movie that really bugged me, um, and I said to myself, when I grow up, I'm going to write the second part of that. And um, I did. <laughs> but I didn't just write a second part. I wrote a trilogy. And the trilogy looks like this. One, two, three. And three, which is way more than I had intended. I was just trying to write one movie, but apparently there was a long story inside of me to write because it took that long 
Um, I guess there was just a lot to say. So people getting these little cards and who will help me by subscribing are doing a valuable um, thing, um, a great cause in supporting a Canadian, somebody born in this country, who's um, had to do all this the old-fashioned way, the long, hard way. I haven't bought any special programs that are higher paying me people. Um, I haven't done anything special. Um, um, you haven't seen me in a play by centerfold. You haven't seen me in a hustler issue. I haven't done any of those things in order to climb up faster. Um, I did, however, have to confess to uh, the fact that in one of the videos on the card that I asked people to go look at, um, was me holding up stuff saying that I'm going to marry Tom Welling. Um, I need to explain that one, I did actually, um, propose to him. I'm, I'm confessing it's true. December 12th on Tom Welling's Facebook at the top. It's actually the last person in the last posts there um, are the things I said to him and my will you marry me because Christmas is around the corner and I thought I have nothing to lose. So I also posted that same proposal on the TV show Lucifer Facebook because I was trying to make a point to Tom about who your friends are, who you can trust. Now, he's on that show because he had people say, hey, I think you'll like this crew. Um, don't think too hard, just do it. Um, and the fact that he was watching the show sort of leaned towards what made him decide to take the 15-episode contract. However, you have to be careful about what you do uh, for a living. You have to think about your self-value uh, and self-worth. Are you willing to be around people that you can't trust that are betrayable uh, very easily? capable of betraying you. Um, so I posted my, my comments and my proposal and my written episode of Lucifer where I was hoping to get a guest appearance on to get him off the show quite nicely with great style and nobody told him. Uh, I'm not sure how many people read it, but I know that the Lucifer Facebook people do read and reply to people's comments on the page because I've read it, I've witnessed it, but they didn't witness mine. They wouldn't reply to mine. And in fact, when I even addressed it to Tom Ellis, um, the envelopes came back unopened. Um, so you have to make Tom Ellen think, or the, the idea is to hope that he would think, um, who are your friends? Who can you trust? Um, and I'd say the answer is um, Canadian. <laughs> you can trust the Canadian. Um, so I'm going to show you guys. This is the letter that was addressed to Tom Ellis. Dear Tom, which is Tom Ellis, the guy that plays Lucifer. Um, I'm not sure why anybody would want to be born to play Satan the devil. But that's between him and God, I guess. Um, but I did write um, a Lucifer episode. See? There, Lucifer. I did write a Lucifer episode. Um, and I was hoping that I get to do it. And I think if Tom got to read it, he'd say, let's do it. There's the last sentence. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, I'm boastful because I know how good I am at what I do. I may not have an agent or a manager, but that's because I can start my own production company and be my own business. Um, and I can make work for others, extra work. I'm talking, talking lines and stuff. Um, and so now I have an extra copy of the small film movie. I got two printed off. Um, so that Tom can make the right choice. Tom Ellis can make the right choice and decide whether or not he was going to be a good guy, uh, for just one minute in, uh, telling Tom Welling, you should read this. You need to read this. You need to see this. And then say, I've read it. It's great. You should do it. And, and then say, well, you, you shouldn't stay on, uh, the Lucifer 2 show too long because you'll, you'll wreck your, abilities to go back to the Smallville TV show and do the reunion special. Um, so with you guys and your help in subscribing my page, you can help me maintain my um, creator class uh, level so I can continue to monetize my videos and hopefully um, make enough money to be able to fix that van. <laughs> um, you're also welcome to support I have a GoFundMe page, which is also listed on the cards. Um, all the help I get from you guys just leads to um, me helping other people <clears throat> do better for themselves. It means I might be able to reach the YouTube people um, in California for myself and uh, get them to understand they need to slow down and take a step back and realize people need to make money with their YouTube page. Um, 
sorry. This is awesome. I'm doing this from my room. Um, so I'm going to move this around. Um, so today I'm going to be in Quebec. I'm going to be over in the Gatineau side and I'm going to be handing these out for myself because I can't find anybody who seems to be willing to get paid to help Superwoman. Um, Superwoman is a real character. She is in that Supergirl trilogy and the Superwoman character can be also revealed on the TV show Smallville. I, just to clarify things, I will not be playing the Superwoman in the Smallville special. My character is the first aid instructor. I'm the girl, um, the clerk gets in, um, how do you say, um, an uncomfortable position in the story. So, um, I'm making my debut, uh, a guest appearance in the reunion, like the where Waldo comic strip is, where I can be my different characters and different things that I produce, um, without having to worry about losing my, my focus on writing career and end up full time on camera as an actor, which is not my desire. I don't mind doing a little bit of acting. I have been to acting school, but I'm a writer first. Um, I'm a singer, songwriter, movie writer, poetry writer, uh, book writer. All that stuff. Writer. <laughs> That's why my email is thewriter1 at gmail.com. Uh, all letters, no no numbers. The writer, W R I T E R W N uh, at G -A -G -mail com. Uh, but it's on the card. So um, that's my little spliff. I know it's a bit long. Um, I will try to shorten things now that you guys have heard most of it. And if you've gotten through this, then thank you. Great. Uh, fantastic. Please subscribe. Um, the more of you guys that help me make this dream come true, um, the more um, I'll be able to do to turn around and come back and um, um, hold uh, uh, casting calls to give work to the people that help support me, uh, that help me help me fight uh, YouTube to keep our YouTube going the way it is. Um, I will link the proposal December 12th uh, to Tom Welling uh, from his Facebook page below this video so we can go there and see that I actually proposed to him and to the uh, videos on the cards what did I do with the cards now? the videos on the back of these little cards here one of them has a video of my um, $100,000 Telus pitch uh, video which shows me uh, saying I'm going to marry Tom Welling the reason for that in closing is that not just uh, at that time I hadn't proposed to him when I made the video. It was about the fact that as an actress and as a writer, it's occurred to me that people who get famous and rich and kiss each other, take their clothes off and do all kinds of intimate things for money have trouble with their personal lives. Marriages aren't long lasting. Marriages aren't very successful. It's very awkward. And I thought I never want to be Tom Welling's ex. I never want to be the girl he talks about from his past or the girl that he's talking about breaking up with now. I never want to be in the position where I'm hurting because such a great guy decided he couldn't be in a relationship with me because it conflicts with his career and his decisions in his acting. Horrifying. Horrifying. Now, I know recently they made a video, I don't know if it's a real video, where Tom Ellis had um, kissed him or something. And um, those things matter. Um, when you do things like that, uh, you have to think about your partner at home, your personal life. Um, is that person okay with it? Do I care if that person cares? And that's how you know how well things are going to go, right? Now, as a single person who doesn't have anybody to answer to, you can do whatever you want, but it does make a difference on who you end up dating because it has to be somebody that has the ability not to be upset over something like that. That bugged me. I don't care if he kisses a guy in some thing for something like you know, Europeans do cheeks, whatever. I'm not freaky like that. But I do care when I think about who I've got to kiss when he kisses me when he comes home. And so I know that being the girl that dates the guy, it's awkward because you can't speak up or you're afraid to speak up because you're worried it's going to end the relationship. So I'd rather get married to him in character again and again and again and again as Charlie Baker in A Baker's Dozen, as Clark in Smallville, um, as Marcus Pierce in Lucifer, and as Rhett Butler in a, a new story called Rhett Butler's People. So that was my reason for the video, uh, which I'll also post below so you can click on the links faster. Um, to understand why I'm out there handing out these flyers and what I'm needing. Um, if anybody wants to help me, go ahead and contact me and we'll discuss monetary rewards. Um, uh, there's more stuff to come. T-shirts, stickers, tattoos, etc. Um, thanks for watching now, TV guys. Thanks for not destroying the flyer, throwing it to the ground. Thanks for getting it home. You should frame it. Um, let me uh, go and be a superwoman for all of you and make us proud of um, Canadian history once again. Bye for now. Peace out.